Hello there everyone and welcome back for another review. Today I have two mods to review for you guys. First up we'll be taking a look at the Sugar Factory, Placeable, and the Oreo Cookie Factory. Because you need Z Sugar to get Z Cookie. And what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will set a few things up and show you just how these work. So let's take a look. Okay, all set. This is the Sugar Factory version 1.0 by Edward007. You will need the Global Company mod for this factory to work. I'll include the link down below in the description. Just download it as you would a normal mod and put it in your mods folder. File size for this is 35.5 megabytes. Price in the shop is 122700 with a $30 a day maintenance fee. Now you're going to input two different resources to get this up and running. You will need both sugar beets and sugar cane. 100,000 liters of each will fill this up and it's going to output pallets of sugar. The capacity of this is 40,000 liters and the production is 1,000 liters per hour. So let's go over to the shop. This also comes with a cell spot. I'll show you that in a second. There's the sugar factory right there. Like I said, 122,000. It's pretty big, not huge, but fairly good size. Just find a nice flat spot to put it down. And like I said, you need both sugar cane and sugar beet to get that up and running. $30 a day maintenance fee. Now here is the sell point for the sugar. It's only a small little uh, sell point there. $1,000 with a $30 a day maintenance fee. So that is right on over here. And you can set that up anywhere you want. So we'll take a little look at this since it's right here. Get a big old trigger there. It's not quite sitting flat. I might have it up on a... A little bit but that is the cell trigger yeah it doesn't look like it's quite sitting on the ground does it okay so let's go over here to the sugar factory now the first thing you'll notice is this is all gated in you're gonna have to get into your vehicle come up and press the left mouse button to open it there's three gates there's one there one over here you could just leave them all open at once so you don't have to bother with that if you don't want to and we got one right on over here so now that they're all open we'll take a look at the company itself it's all gated in here's where you're going to drop off your sugar cane and sugar beets right in the graded area yeah it looks pretty cool got a stack on it and everything all lights up at night there are your spawning pads. Once this company starts making the product, they'll appear on pallets there. You don't have to uh, spawn them out. They'll automatically come out here and once all the pads are full, you got 40,000 liters. 4,000 liters times 10. So you can see the digital displays up above. Okay, so that is the sugar factory. We'll get that up and running momentarily. We just so happen to have some of our ingredients right on over here. We'll start filling up that sugar factory. There's our sugar beets. Get some sugar cane right on next door. 100,000 liters here. So remember, left mouse button, open those gates, you will have to get out to do that. Just leave them open. It won't be as much of a problem. Okay, sugar beets, in you go. It should take every one of those. It's got digital displays on the front there, on the column. You do need both to make the sugar though. You can't just put one in. You need both sugar cane and sugar beets. In you go. 
You can hear the factory boot up there. Production is underway. That's him. I believe the smoke is coming from the stack up there. Let's take a look. Yep. And a light on top there too. Very nice. So if you're not familiar with the global company stuff, when you come close to the factory, you'll see a little script opens there in the bottom right hand corner showing you how much of each thing you have in there. And you can also activate this by pressing left control and G when you're out of a vehicle. It'll bring up global company here. Just go ahead and look the, for the factory you're, you want. Just go ahead and look for the factory you want. Click on it. Go to overview screen. Click on sugar production and it'll show you your amounts here as well so this factory here you cannot buy this stuff from the factory you actually have to supply this yourself so take that in mind because usually the global company stuff if you click on this it'll give you a buy option down the bottom this one you can't do that so just make keep that in mind that you have to make your own sugar okay let's pull this guy out of there you can hear production start it you can see the pallets starting to form over there. They're in like cages, almost like the wool is. I'll show you that in a second when we bring our auto loader over. I'm going to start fast forward in time just a little bit. The production on this one is fairly quick. You'll see just how long it takes to get 10 pallets. Not long at all. Okay. So bring up my HUD. You can see on time. Times 15 speed watch when I crank it up to 2,000. Look at that. Boom, boom, one after another. When that hits 4,000, it's going to stop. Look at that. Like no time at all. And look, very nice packaging there. Granulated white sugar harvest. 4,000 liters. 25 kg bags. 21 25 kg bags so that's quite a bit okay let's pick these up alright oh don't pick that one up yet okay go ahead We'll crank up time here again. Oh look, it missed one. That was kind of weird. Probably because I'm just fast forwarding time so quick it's just getting mixed up. Get a whole truck full of sugar here anyway. So let me crank up time here, we'll get to the next morning. Yeah, I don't know. It's missing that one for some reason. I might have had it too quick. That's alright. I'm going to keep going with the time until we get to the morning here. I want to sell this one and see what we get. Now, if you go over to your menu screen, and go over to your price list, bring this guy all the way over to the right, and there's your sugar right here. There's your prices. Okay, let's go sell this over here and we'll see what we get now that looks like it's off the ground there a little bit if you have problem with these pallets getting them off you might have to unload it a couple of times just the way it is with some of these look he's on an angle there wasn't quite flat land okay let's unload this see what happens it will sell some of them I'm just wondering if all of them will sell see the money going Oh, it's going to sell them all. Oh, almost. Oh, it did pretty good. Look, it's still going. It stopped right there. Not bad, though. Now, if I pick them back up again. Oh, they're selling them. Beautiful. So I didn't see the grand total there. You got some good price, good prices for that. Okay, guys, I had to fill back up the sugar factory. 
but you can see it's all pal all the pallets are there now. I just had to slow time down a little bit. It was going too quick. So we'll just scoop these up. And we'll let production continue underway of that. Move these to the side. And we'll use these for our cookie factory. Okay, next up we have the Oreo Factory version 1.1 by Velocity83. You'll also need the Global Company mod for this to work down in the description, don't forget. Fall size for this is 31 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase this is 32500 with an $80 a day maintenance fee. Now you're going to input three different resources to get this up and running. You'll need wheat, sugar, and milk. And I just reviewed the sugar so you know where to get that from. 100,000 liters of each. Then you're going to output Oreo cookies. 40,000 liters it'll hold. Production time of this is 100 liters per hour. So let's go on over to the shop. First I want to show you where you can sell these. These don't come with a sale point but you can sell them on the map nonetheless. You can see them right here at the end. Get a pretty good price for them there. Hey geez, you get quite a bit of money for them actually. Not bad. So you can see there's a few different places there on the map that you can sell them. Let's go over to the shop that's located under Global Company, under Placeables. There it is there, Oreo Factory. Like I said, you'll need wheat, sugar, and milk to get this up and running. $80 a day maintenance fee, $32,500 for the Placeable. It's not that bad. It's pretty small. Got solar panels on there too. I don't think this one makes you an hourly profit, no, but it powers itself, so that's pretty cool. So let's take a look around at this. Nice little job he did there. Same guy made the uh, Dorito factory, I do believe. There's all your spawning platforms there. Your product's going to spawn out right there. You don't have to get it out yourself. So it's 4,000 liters of pallet, 10 pallets, 40,000 liters will fill this up. There's your display there. Drop off for your milk. There's where you're going to drop off your dry goods, like your milk and your sugar. Now you might have a little bit of problem getting the sugar on there. You may have to move the pallets around a little bit. Strongman mod is always a good one to have for that, but sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. There we go, you can see it going in. Okay, we got our digital displays right there. Beautiful. 100,000 liters, green means it's full, yellow with production is underway, and red means it's empty. I put it in before and it didn't accept all the pallets at once. I had to kind of move a couple around. But if you're familiar with the global company stuff, sometimes the, uh, the pallets, you gotta lift them off the trigger a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. Let me see if I can get to the side here. Okay, drop them. You can see them going in. It's going to take the first row, no problem. Second row might be a different problem. Okay, let's pick them up again. And watch, I'll lift that up a little bit and she'll start selling. That's all. You just got to move them around a little bit. It happens. There you go. See, they will go in. Just gotta maneuver them sometimes. I love the packaging on those sugar too, it looks great. Okay guys, that's not a hundred thousand liters, but we have enough in there to get production up underway. I'm sure it fired up already. So let's take a look over here. Let's fire up production here a little bit. So remember this is only a hundred liters an hour, these so, and each pallet's a thousand or four thousand liters, so look at that. Nice packaging, I love that. They look delicious. 
Okay, we'll go a little quicker here. 2,000 speed. So 8 will be the end of that one, and the next one. Auto load on. So you get 10 pallets. Production will start up there again. We'll grab another 6. Forty thousand. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at these factories at night. I have to get my speed going here again. That's not too bad. Nicely lit. Not bad at all. All four sides are lit up. Let's take a look at the sugar factory here. This is really well lit. Very nice. Good job. Okay, let's stop there. Pick up the rest of our pallets. Get 16 here. Let's see what we get for 16 pallets. It's going to be hard to see if it doesn't take them all, but let's go over to our price list, find the best spot. Look, 1680 there at the Farm Bureau. This is the Michigan map, by the way, guys. 1600. Yeah, we're going with that. Farm Bureau co-op okay co-op wants to buy our Oreos let's get a little look at them here just before we go ahead look at that that looks so good all right hopefully we can get a full tally on this but I doubt it because you're probably gonna have to be lifted a little bit find the ones where you gotta put them on these grates they, they kinda have a little bit of problem selling but they will sell so let's go ahead and put that right there and drop them now the first tier should sell out right about four thousand dollars a pallet oh no more than that that's it. Just lift them up a little bit. Love the packaging on them. That's fantastic. So it looks like you give about five, six thousand per pallet. Not bad. Sixty-seven hundred for that one. Six thousand. And when I lift this bottom one, it's going to sell a bunch of them because they're all going to get. Oh. Just need a big glass of milk. <laughs> Look at that money coming in, guys. Very nice. I wish I can get a tally on that, but it's safe to say you're making quite a bit. You got 16 pallets. Milk's best friend. You got that right. I love Oreos. Alright. So there you have it folks, that was the Sugar Factory version 1.0 by Edward007 and the Oreo Factory version 1.1 by Velocity83. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, then hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all 
in the next one.